Hey everyone, Lateral 300,000 here, and um, this is my review on Fairy Capricorn from the Beyblade Metal Fusion Legend series. Um, these are filler ends for seasons 1 and 2. Um, and yeah, I don't have Storm Capricorn, so I can't compare those two, and I'm not planning on getting him. But I have Fairy Capricorn, and he's actually pretty good for an attack type. So here is his metallic, uh, his metallic launcher and rift cord. They look pretty nice. Here is his ooze-like um, color metallic uh, tool. It looks also very nice. His card with the nice gold frame. Here's all of his parts. Now, I don't have a picture of the original Capricorn, but this is how he would have had looked like. But before I go to that, here's a quick look at him. Very nice looking bay. Now let's just dismantle him. And this is how the original Capricorn looked like. On the fusion wheel there's a whole bunch of paint and stuff like that and this was sort of pushed in and it looked like a circle over here. And that's just about it. Now let's get on with the review. Let's start off with the face bolt. If you hear a little crash noise in the background, that's just my stepfather washing the dishes. So here's the Capricorn face. There's no Capricorn name on the banner though. These little dents that you guys can see over here is actually the metallic paint. These little dents right here on the side. Again, it looks an ooze like purple color. Looks pretty cool. Um, here is a different version of Capricorn with new sticker colors. Focus. Oh, anyway. Right over here. Oh, there you go. Focus. Right over here is the Capricorn's head, which is a water gold, I think. And um, here's its horns. I really have no idea what this part here is supposed to be. Yeah, I have no idea what this here is supposed to be. Right over here. But then over here we have another uh, Capricorn with more ears. With more um, things. Whatever it's called. Whatever I said. It looks pretty nice. It's a metallic red, I guess. I have no idea. Here is the Fury Fusion Wheel. It's very cool looking. Um... And it also mixes in with the horns. There we go. Horns. See, because over here... Yeah, you guys can see it now. There's these little bumps over here. And that matches with his uh, horns. Over here is also bumpy. And it also looks pretty cool when it's like this. 100 self-explained. 100 track. Nothing special. Whole flat. Same uh, spin track as all drag goes. And so is the performance tip. Sorry, performance tip is the same as our dragos. Ah, <clears throat> spin track is the same as our dragos. Performance tip is the same as our dragos. So let's just build him up. He's also extremely smooth here on the sides, and yeah. So I really don't have a uh, storm Capricorn to compare, but yeah, whatever. And I'll also do a quick battle for you guys. And I extremely recommend getting uh, Fairy Capricorn. He's actually quite good. So, Fairy Capricorn, fully assembled. Uh, just hold on a second while I get uh, Storm Pegasus with El Drago's performance dip. So just wait. Uh, 
Okay, back. Let me just take these out. Just to give Pegasus a little bit of uh, help. The RF is actually quite good, but yeah, I'm not going to use that right now. So before I do this quick battle, let's just quickly launch him using his launcher and ripcord. And now let's do the battle. I'm going to be launching Pegasus with this string launcher and okay, Fairy Capricorn with this one. All right, let's just launch Fairy Capricorn first, and then Pegasus. Wait. Bad launch. This could take a little bit long, so just relax. Okay, just because Fairy Capricorn lost doesn't mean he's bad. He's really good, actually. And I mean really good. If I were to rank him, I'd rank him a little bit... No, not a little bit. I mean, he is just as good as Storm Pegasus 105 RF, to be honest. If you really can master the RF, which a lot of people did... Focus. It's still the same size as last time that um, that I wore it down. It hasn't worn down that much anymore. I mean, if you really master the RF, then you're good to go with Pegasus. I'm in the process of doing that, and I'm so close. So yeah, he's just as good as Pegasus if you master him. If you master Pegasus. If you can't master Pegasus, then he's better than Pegasus. But if you can master Pegasus RF... He's pretty good. They're both equally good. So yeah. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. I wanted to show you guys. I didn't even battle Midnight Bowl yet. I mean, I launched him and stuff. But I didn't want to damage his fusion wheel before I show you guys this. His fusion wheel is so smooth. There aren't any scratches in it. It looks so smooth, literally. For me, this has to be the smoothest fusion wheel ever. Well, that I have at least. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Also, subscribe to you guys as soon as I can. Watch my next video review on Torch Aries. Later.